Hello, this is Trisha from Sandian Auto, and I have an estate sale haul today. Now, all these items were purchased on an online estate sale, and I got to see most of the items, but there are a couple in here that were just kind of shown as like a batch, and so I really didn't get to see each individual one, so it's going to be fun to take a look at them. And these items will be available for sale now as you're watching the video, so if if you see something you're interested in feel free to leave a comment below or you can send me an email and otherwise uh, they will start being incorporated into my live sales which are every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern and if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out haul videos buy it now videos and when I go live for my sales and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay so this is a strange little mix but there were a couple of really fun items in here that I really I wanted to see first of all so I, I was very intrigued by it um, okay start with some strange stuff yep just a random box of watermelon flavored gelatin I have no idea how old this box is. There does not appear to be a barcode on it anywhere. So that's going to help um, with it. But yeah, we've got a little bit of dust on there um, and a little bit of coloring. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe that was when watermelon flavor first came out. I have no idea. Um, then there is this little box, Betty Crocker Just Add Water Junior Mix. I have a feeling this was maybe for um, an Easy Bake Oven or something very similar. I remember boxes like this for my Easy Bake Oven. And here it is. It is the Snow White. <laughs> and there's some doodling on the back. Yep, got to practice those uh, alphabet letters somewhere, right? Okay, now here is a box from Texaco. What was in here? I don't know. It's almost like the shape of, I'm going to say like a bar of soap is kind of the size and shape of this one, but it is a Texaco box. Don't know. Okay, then... Okay. So then I have a couple of these boxes, these beech nut little boxes, it says pre-cooked for babies. There are two of those. And then there is one for Gerber oatmeal. Okay. So if you remember, if you've been with me for a little bit, you'll know that I have this amazing set here. There we go. So part of a play set. This one is um, Dolly Loves to Shop by Phone. And here she is calling the little, I guess, general store manager who's taking her order. And of course, this was when the princess phones just came out. So this is like late 50s, early 60s, because it is with America's newest, most beautiful phone that she's using to call in her order and so yeah these would have been part of a little play set like this so this one does have the beech nut um, oatmeal and this has got two more boxes so i'll probably just go ahead and put those all together as a fun little lot since they are very um, much the same thing and go with it but uh, yeah, I just brought that one out again to show that uh, that's what that would have been. And it did have a Gerber. It's got the Gerber apple juice in it. So maybe it depended on which set you bought, if you got the uh, beech nut oatmeal or the Gerber um, oatmeal instead. So that could be kind of interchangeable with all the different little play sets. Okay, then 
<laughs> Look at this guy or gal. I guess she's in a little skirt, isn't she? She needs a little cleaning, but you know, she's got some Christmas colors, right? Pretty eyes. And I'm going to look for that mark. Let's see, on the bottom of her foot, she's got a little mark. I'm going to get in here with my little magnifier a little closer and see if I can find a date or something on here. I think it says 1964. Trying to get it in the light just right. Yeah, Denmark, 1964. And then I may have to play around with the lighting ooh, just a little bit to really get in there. I will do my best to kind of show that off there. And then if you happen to see a little more, feel free to leave those in the comments. If you are able to, let me see if I can get that to focus. But yeah, so this one is, um, oh my goodness. So I'm going to say eight inches tall and the eyes need a little cleaning. But I think, I think she could clean up pretty nice. Here is her back of her little outfit. And yeah, her hair could uh, use just a little sprucing up. And again, just a little spot cleaning on her outfit. And I think she would be good as new. Then we've got a horse. Oh, we've got one of their, that's just a tag from the auction house on there. Beautiful horse. Look at that. Might have a little bit of paint loss right there on the back of the tail. Oh, there's another tag on here. I think they just use these to identify which lots they are. And I'm going to see. I thought maybe there was a mark I just saw, and now I don't remember quite where I saw it. Might be a little bit of paint loss right back here also. Oops, I got some sticker on me. So teeny bit of paint loss there, but yeah, I don't see, and I'm looking for a manufacturer, a country of origin, not quite seeing that, but I kind of thought maybe I did on the back there. So um, I will definitely keep looking to see if there is one, but that is a beautiful one. And this is plastic, made out of plastic, beautiful face. Okay, and then we've got some multiplication flashcards. And these were, oh, my goodness, my favorite store, Frederick and Nelson. They were a dollar there. And let's see what is in here. And oh, we've got a test too. Oh my. Oh my, there are quite a few little test sheets in here. And then, yep, we've got the flashcards. There we go. So, don't know if they are all in here, but with all of those and this, that's a nice snug fit. So I'm going to say pretty darn close if not all of them are here. Now this has a date. I just saw that. Copyright 1958 on there. And it doesn't say how many there are, so not sure. All right, next item. This one is a Mark II Ford GT. And then somebody wrote that it is also a um, Lotus Ford. There we go. So this is an old model. This is an advanced kit, not for beginners. And it does say, yeah, it's a one, 1 25th scale made and litho in USA. 
right there. So let's take a look at the inside here. Let's see lid off and we've got some instructions and all the parts that should be in there. We've got, oh, there it is, the Lotus Ford and parts. And, oh, we've got a sheet so you can buy more. And then, oh my, it does look like all of the parts are still just right there ready to go on this really cool kit. So I'm working my way down a little bit in here. I will be able to get these pieces back here. But yeah, so there is the chassis. We've got the steering wheel and everything. So that is a really fun vintage kit. Get that back in there. So yeah, very fun that the pieces are still just right in there, ready to go. The instructions are ready to go. And I'll get the lid back on there because I don't want to play a 52 part pickup <laughs> if something happens to that one. So there we go. Um, Next, I grabbed all of these. Now I have to say these I thought were really fun and I wanted to take a look at them and I'm not sure actually what even all of them are. Um, they are, I mean, they're slides for a projector. Okay, so here we go. Andy Pandy in Balloony Business. So there is an Andy Pandy, Andy Panda cartoon. And then it says for you for the um, Kenner's Give a Show projector, and then it starts there. Show this side up. So lots of instructions. Now they are a little warped, so I'm gonna see. Maybe there's a way that I can um, straighten these out a little bit. So here is Baby Huey. Uh, let's see, it says they're printed in USA. Oh, 1961 is the date on that one. This one is also 1961. Then we've got Treasure Island. And this is 1961. Um, the Haunted Mine. Ooh. That's also 1961. So it does look like it has little uh, bits that you can read, kind of like a comic to help the story progress. Here is Robin Hood meets Little John, also 1961. Bozo the Clown, oh my goodness, Clown Alert. I did not know there would be Bozo the Clown in here. That's also 1961. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, oh, William Tell, there it is. And it does have these little pictures here and some little numbers so there might be just a little bit of a series or something so it helps you identify um, which one that goes with by the little picture on it um oh draw and wipe off frames for making your own color shows oh Okay, so this one is, I guess, just a clear one, but there's an X's through it. This one is Union Drummer Boy. Okay. Oh, that must be Civil War. Oh, Lassie. Lassie brings an urgent message. Oh, no. Well, that looks like Timmy there so maybe timmy didn't fall in the well that time 
Here is Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. And from what I've seen, all of these are 1961. Here is Popeye. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's having an accident there. Oh, there's another Bozo, so clown alert. Here is Bozo. Oh, looks like Bozo is helping an elephant. Oh, isn't that nice? Um, Deadly Boomerang. Okay. So that looks like a cowboy using a boomerang. Peter Pan. Oh, Peter Pan foils Captain Hook. Oh, my. There we go. Aesop's Fables of the Lion and the Mouse. This one, oh, here we go. Woody Woodpecker. Um, oh, Huckleberry Hound. Oh, my goodness. I remember Huckleberry Hound. Looks like he's got Yogi also helping him. Uh, here's another Popeye. And another couple more of the Make Your Own Shows. Those are blank. This one is Woody Woodpecker. Um, Stowaway in Space. Oh, my. So 1961, we haven't quite gone to space yet, but they are imagining what it's going to be like. Oh, Heckle and Jekyll. Oh, I remember Heckle and Jekyll. Those two uh, crows always getting into trouble. Um, the Three Stooges. Oh, here's Lassie. Another Lassie. Oh, no. Like a bobcat, maybe. Uh-oh. And here's the last one. And, oh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. There we go. That's a good one to end it on. I love Rocky and Bullwinkle. Okay. Now, that's not everything. There was also this little box. Which, yeah, guess what that's full of? Valentine's. <laughs> So again, they didn't really show the Valentines that were in here, just that there was a box of Valentines. Well, I'll tell you, seeing those slides and the fact, oops, that there was a box of Valentines, well, that was enough to kind of get me interested in this lot. So, oh, and look at that. I made a nickel. And there is something else in here. There's, oh, there's a dime. Oh, my goodness. And one fell on the floor. Let me grab it really quick. And the reason I wanted to make sure I grabbed this one is because it's a little turtle. Now, he's not written on on the back. This one is. Oh, look at that little horse. And I'm going to imagine a lot of these are hallmarks. There's a cute little handwritten one. Now, I've got a bunch of envelopes here. These just look like they were the envelopes used to send them. So let's get into, oh, look at that. Now, these are not written on, so maybe these were extras that weren't used. Oh, another kitty. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I think these were just extras that were never used. Oh, look at that pretty little envelope. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Uh oh, clown. And another elephant. Oh, a giraffe. Oh, my goodness. 
Now these don't look like they're written on, so I think those were just extra ones. Let's see, what is this one? Oh, look at peanuts. This one is written on, on the back. And we've got one in an envelope here. Oh, a nice handmade one. Oh, isn't that sweet? Keep those with the envelopes. Oh, look at them. This one is written on the back. Oh, isn't that sweet? Let's see. Oh, this one's folded up. Let's see. Let's be business like about this thing. Will you accept my offer? Oh, my. <laughs> Now this one's a little pop out one. And yep, so these ones are written on the back. Oh, look at him. So cute. This one. Oh, oh, look at that kitty. Oh my goodness. That's on written on the back. Now this one's a fancy oh fancy envelope. Oh, but another sweet handmade one. Look at that. There's just a little heart and giraffe. Oh, a rabbit. Oh my goodness. Now these three are not written on the back. Oh, look at the lion not written on the back. So again, I think I ran into a little batch of extras. And uh oh, so a clown alert again. We've got clown, two, three clowns. Okay, clowns are gone. And little skunk. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now none of those were written on the back. There's an envelope. Okay, more turtles and more little ducks and another little rabbit oh my gosh What's that another little bunny more envelopes oh. oh look at the puppy oh my gosh and okay and one more one more. Oh, another Peanuts one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So yeah, those, those things. I knew that there were Valentines in there. Those are so cute. And I knew these slides were in there and they were really fun. So I wanted to take a look at those. And yeah, I don't know if that's something I can put some weight on and maybe try to flatten those out. I will kind of play around with that a little bit. But yeah, if you saw something you're interested in, again, you can feel free to contact me in the comments below or send me an email. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.